Well, basketball legend who played college here in Charlotte broke barriers both on and off the court. Curly Neal is remembered as one of the iconic Harlem Globetrotters. Back in the 60s, he was a star at Johnson C. Smith University. As Queen City News reporter John Lee explains, the Globies are devoting 2022 to their revered player who always wore number 22. Johnson C. Smith University had a special place in Curly Neal's heart, his training ground for eventual superstardom. I'm doing good. How you doing? Yeah, good. So it seemed fitting that the Harlem Globetrotters take a spin in Charlotte. Trotters Flip White and Scooter Christensen visited with students to celebrate the approachable icon with a megawatt smile. His impact was not just on the court, it was off the court. He did so much for the community all over. He brought smiles and joy to everybody. Globetrotters has been my life and I wouldn't do anything else. When you think of Curly, you think of his uncanny control of the basketball, spinning, dribbling, and delighting audiences in 97 countries over the years. We show this 17 second clip uninterrupted as a reminder of just how mesmerizing he was. He was also known for his incredible long distance sharpshooting before there was even a three point line. Neil died in 2020, but the memories live on. Whether you watched him in black and white or in color, Curly's talent and charisma were eye popping. JCSU teammate John T Bone Crawford played with Neil for one season back in 1960. It was in my heyday. <laughs> for me, <laughs> he was almost a globetrotter before he went to the globetrotters in terms of his, what he could do with the basketball and handling it. Back in college, Curly dribbled a basketball wherever he went. So when the globetrotters called, Oh, I, <laughs> I thought he was ready. I thought he was ready because to me, he almost came to John C. Smith ready to be a, uh, a showman. Over the course of 22 years, he appeared on the Ed Sullivan Show. What a show. Hi, guys. He shared the stage with the likes of Goldie Hawn. And woo, we had a ball on Gilligan's Island. With Marianne, Ginger, Professor. And he even appeared with a cast of castaways. To Curly, and he scores. That's why the Globetrotters have devoted their spread game tour to the man who became a household name in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Presenting. Actually, Curly Neal Jersey here, and uh, what better place, what better time. So to know where you come from, you know, and, and know the Lexi and what kind of impact the Globe Charters had and the impact that he had on the team. And that influence gave generations of kids something to shoot for. In Charlotte, John Lee, Queen City News.